she's probably going to get her breakfast I'm just going to go back just ever so slightly not much just a little bit there's impala rams walking Mike do you want to come behind me no I'm saying to Mike if you wanted to come up ahead they're running straight to, okay they're running straight towards her let's watch from here the impala rams there's about four or five of them there's a big one there's a couple of youngsters please catch one come on girl I don't think they know that she's there. There's the leopard crawl we were talking about just a moment ago, flat down on the ground. They're coming right towards her. This is amazing. I just saw the ram is about two or three meters from her. I think she's going to wait for it to walk past. They're just going to sit quietly. Come on, girl, you can do it. Those rams don't want to spend too much time in the thicket. They look like they want to cross out onto the fire break. I can just see a little bit of movement. Now they're on the move again. See how she's flattening herself, tucking her legs. There's the impala ram. She's going to wait till it turns its back, I think. Now there's a whole lot more, so I don't know if she's going to wait for them to all get in front of her. You see, the problem is, is if she races out now and goes for that one that's already crossed the road, she's going to lose her chance. Here comes the next one. That's a big ram that's just crossed out. She's going to lose her chance. And they'll all run away in alarm. So it's almost like what the lions do when they hunt buffalo and they follow the big herds of buffalo around. They go for the ones right at the back that are going to draw less attention to themselves. Now she's going to try and get behind them. There's still more coming. I'm sure I still saw more youngsters, younger impala rams. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat and I'm sure you're all doing exactly the same thing. Come on, Tandy, you can do it. She's obviously got her eye on one. I'm trying to see if I can see some more movement. Come on, girl. It doesn't even look like she's breathing. She's sitting so still, and that's how I feel. I'm also holding my breath. Julia, you've commented and said it's crazy how the impala didn't even see her. It's amazing. So this is just her camouflage again, flattening herself on the ground. She probably just looks like a bit of wood. There's not much wind either. I can't even see a leaf or a blade of grass moving. So she's got that as well. Although I'd prefer it if she had a bit of wind because she maybe could have moved a bit quicker. Tandy, what are you doing? Is there one more in there that we can't see? It sounds like there's some more impala just on the other side of the drainage line again, so maybe they're going to come through following the same pathway that the small group already has. I thought I counted more than just three as they were funneling down. There could still be one, maybe it's just stopped to feed. Oh, there we go. Have you got something, Seb? No, I said she was, oh. but she's relaxing. Oh, Tandy. She looks like she's slightly disappointed in herself. Girl, you've had a perfect opportunity there. Now, ideally a leopard wants to get within a meter of its prey before, but they can sort of race over with that distance that she had between them. It wasn't a particularly big one. Now, Ginger, you're wondering if the impala could have smelt her. Uh, if they did smell it, they would have reacted. They would have reacted, they would have snorted, they would have stared right at her. They wouldn't have just quickly moved across the road like that. And, and typically when animals do move through thickets like this, they have to be very cautious. It's just the same as us when we go walking on, when you're walking safaris. Out in the open, you can yeah, you can be a little bit more casual because you can see what's around you. But when you walk through these thick patches and drainage lines, and we know that there are lots of the big cats or leopards, lions also hunt around these areas. You know, you don't want to hang around in them too long, so they will move quite quickly and into a spot where they feel slightly safer. 
Just checking to see if I can see any more. Oh. I don't know if she is going to chase after those impala. It seems as though she is disappointed. She missed her opportunity there. Ali, however, has gone from hyenas to birds and she's got a big eagle in a tree. 